Here we are going to learn how to do binary multiplication. So without wasting time, let's get started. The binary multiplication is similar to the decimal multiplication or even simpler than the decimal multiplication. Now let's just quickly check the rules of binary multiplication. When we multiply 0 with 0, the answer is 0. When you multiply 0 with 1, it's 0. 1 with 0, it's 0. It is the only last case when you multiply 1 with 1, the answer is 1. In all other case, you are just multiplying 0 with other digit. So whenever you multiply 0 with any digit, the answer is 0. Here we have these two numbers which we are going to multiply together. Here this 1101 is multiplicand and 110 is the multiplier. Basically multiplicand means quantity which is to be multiplied by another quantity and that another quantity is multiplier. So this one become multiplicand and this one become multiplier. So now here we are going to start multiplication with the rightmost column or we can say the least significant bit. So this is the LSB of multiplier. So now let's start with this zero. So we need to multiply the zero of multiplier to the all bits of multiplicand one by one. So when you multiply this zero with one, the multiplication is zero. Zero with zero, the multiplication is zero. Zero with one, zero and zero with this one, zero. So now from this it is clear then when we multiply 0 with any number the answer will be 0 only. So if the number is 4 bit like this one then we should directly place 4 zeros over here. So after multiplying LSB of multiplier with all the bits of multiplicand now it's time for the next bit and here the next bit is 1. So now we'll multiply this one with the all bits of multiplicand. And we'll start with the least significant bit. So when we multiply this one with this one, the answer is 1. And that should be placed in 2's place and not in 1's place like we did with the previous number. But the question is why to put the multiplication in 2's place and not in 1's place? The answer of this question lies in this logic. When we multiply this one which has a weight of 2 raised to 1 with this one which has a weight of 2 raised to 0, the multiplication is 1 and multiplication of their weight is 2 raised to 1 and this 2 raised to 1 is also known as 2's place. So that is why the multiplication of both these terms is 1 and the weightage of this one is 2 raised to 1 or 2's place. Here we have multiplied this one with the first digit. Now it's time to jump for the next digit. So here we are going to multiply this one with this zero. So here this one which has a weight of 2 raised to 1 and this zero which has a weight of 2 raised to 1 get multiplied. And their multiplication is zero. And the multiplication of their weight is 2 raised to 2 which is fourth place. So that is why this zero should be placed at fourth place. And now we are going to multiply this one with this one. So when we multiply this one which has a weight of 2 raised to 1 with this one which has a weight of 2 raised to 2, the multiplication is 1 and the multiplication of their weight is 2 raised to 3 which is basically 8's place. So that is why this one will be placed at 8's place or next to this 0. And now we are going to multiply this one with this final one. And when we multiply 1 with 1, the answer is 1 and that should be placed at 16th place. How it is like this? You can get it from this explanation. Now it's time to multiply this one of multiplier with this one of multiplicand. Now can you guess what will be the answer and place value of this multiplication? Quickly write the answer and place value in comments and then we'll move forward. And yeah, if you found it useful till now, then hit the like and subscribe button to appreciate my efforts. And now let's move ahead. So here we are going to multiply this one with this one. So this one has a weight of 2 raised to 2 and this one has a weight of 2 raised to 0. So their multiplication is 1 and the multiplication of their weight is 2 raised to 2. That is 4th place. So this one will be placed at 4th place 
and these two place will be left blank now we are going to multiply this one with 0 so 1 into 0 will be 0 and the location will be this place 8's place now we will multiply this one with this one so 1 into 1 gives us 1 so let's place that one over here and to check its place value you can refer this calculation so finally we are going to multiply this one with this one so 1 into 1 gives us 1 so let's place it over here so now from this it is clear that when you multiply 1 with any number the answer will be that number only so remember this thing it will be very much useful in future so when you multiply zero of multiplier with the multiplicand you should place all zeros if the number is 4 bit then place all four zeros and the first place of first zero will be the same place of multiplier digit this multiplier digit is at ones place so start placing zero with ones place now when you multiply one of multiplier with the multiplicand you should place the multiplicand number as it is 1101 this multiplicand number is 1101 place this 1101 as it is and the place value of first bit should be the same as the place value of that multiplier number here the place value of this multiplier number is twos place so you should start with the twos place so this is the short trick which you should remember and use for all your multiplication and this calculation was the real reason why each and every number is shifted by every bit when you move from lsb to msb now all these number are just a partial multiplication to get the final multiplication we supposed to add all this partial multiplication together so now let's add all these numbers together 0 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 and 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 and carry is 1 to the next column 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 and carry is to the next column and then this one here as it is so here the final answer is 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 so this is simple binary multiplication but like this the binary multiplication of fractional number is really interesting thing to know and if you want to learn that then jump to this video here i have provided two multiplication for self practice so do it now and write the answer in comments to verify your answer whether it is correct or not so now let's jump to the next video of binary multiplication of fractional number see you in that video